be my witness. Gotta keep the devil law. Keep the devil law. Gotta keep the devil law. Keep the devil law. Can't worry about no snakes. But good no riches. If six feet under, Lord be my witness. Keep the devil law. I was bound on the south side of the moon. Cause your boy did the bid from the bottom of the map to the top of the mountain. Pippin' them on the moon. I'm in the groove. On the late night, I make it move, move. If the play right, play right. You ain't seen it like I seen it. My future nine day by the bright in the daylight. Supernova. I made a strong foundation out of all these boulders I can. I ran them stairs in my yard and you were tucking your tail. My people, what's going on? It's Corey B, man. And uh, as you can see in the title, I'm done drinking. And I'm not going to say forever. But if you're around my age, you know, people drink when they get off work. People drink socially. People drink when they're stressed. It's just a thing that it's too common and, and it's not good. It's not something that is going to better in my life. So I must try to do something to make it better. Um, and it started long ago. Um, I won't say I'm an alcoholic, but I, around 20 years old, you know, first love. Bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks. Bitch, bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks. B -b -b bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks. And, Bitch. Um, I would go to the store and I live with my grandma at the time. I would just go up to my room and drink and drink and drink and drink. And, you know, my little brother made a little joke. He came up one time and was like, Sorry about that. The uh, maintenance man came. Fridge down. Anyway, yeah, my little brother came in the room and was like, I see a beer bottle over there. I see a liquor bottle over there. I see shot glasses everywhere. Um, what's going on with you, man? You a drunk? And me laughing about it. And I ain't thinking nothing of it. I'm like, I ain't no drunk, man. I'm young. I'm just partying. But, you know, I was doing this to hide the real issue of pain. And I don't know how to cope. And that's a big problem in the black community. Not even just the black, all communities. We all got an issue with, with coping with emotion. Weed, pills, drinking, all that. You know, instead of just facing it head on, we run. Not no more. Uh, I'm getting over this, getting over fear of everything. So, yeah, liquor, liquor has to go. And, uh, you know, social dr drinking, I'm st that's still going to be a thing. But, you know, the drinking because I, just because I'm off work or just because, you know, I'm a little depressed that day, that's done forever. So um, I suggest everybody try to fight their, their real feelings, you know what I'm saying? Like, handle it. You know, don't feel so weak and, and you know, beat that you can't do anything, you know, because everything is possible. And, uh, you know, you're only as strong as your mind tells you. So if you're telling yourself you're not strong, that's a lie, because you are. And, uh, I've been learning, you know, because I've been reading this book. Uh, let me get it for you guys. Uh, yeah, it's called The Secret by Rhonda Byrne. And uh, it's an amazing, amazing book. Um, oh, Thunder. Um, it's an amazing book, though, man, and it, and it's basically, in a nutshell, saying your thoughts are things, you know, so those little negative thoughts that you have eventually turn into real negative actions and, and you know, feelings and emotion that, that end up hurting, so 
start thinking more positive. You can do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I will do it. Because I never in a million th years thought I would be in some of the positions and doing some of the things I'm doing. Like, I'm I'm just an average American doing average working things. Like, I don't know, ain't saying, you know. But, you know, I used to think so low of myself. You know, I thought I would be stuck in my grandma's attic forever. I would be single forever. Um, depressed forever. You know, I still fight that, but I am way better than I used to be because my mindset is changing. So, um, you know, I'm just saying this because it may help somebody. And in the end game, if I can help just one person, I done did my job. Um, yeah, and that just makes me feel good. Like, yeah, I done did that. So, you know, uh, if you got something going on, comment. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk about it. You know, I'm here for you. If anybody else ain't, Corey B is. So, yeah, just be tuned for my next video. It's going to be more about my weight journey and stuff like that. No so, such thing as like, the subscribe, all that good stuff, you know. I mean, the Corey first B, time you and I'm out. Peace. It's a mistake, but.